Okay, time for the big interview here on SMX Insider. And we do have a big one. We have the winner, not just of the Daytona Supercross. We're talking the biggest race there, the Daytona 500, the Great American Race. Ricky Stainhouse, thanks for coming on. And I know you're actually a Supercross motocross fan. So it makes sense for you to come on and join us for a bit. Yeah, I appreciate you having me on. I mean, I don't know if your fans are going to like that you just said the, the biggest race. Of the, you know, I think the biggest race is the Daytona 500. They probably, Eli probably thinks uh, Daytona Supercross is pretty important. Uh, but no, it's cool. Um, definitely love Daytona, love Supercross. So uh, anytime they get together, especially, you know, in the trioval oval there, uh, man, it creates such a great racetrack and, and some epic finishes over the years yeah and what i always say about daytona there's such a variety of events there from the 24-hour rolex sports car race the supercross all the nascar racing so many different disciplines they treat all the winners equally it's just as grand for everyone it's almost like you're in this exclusive club of big dick race daytona winners yeah the victory lane you know at at daytona is is unlike i feel like any other racetrack we go to and you look at all the greats who have won there uh, in the past in all forms of motorsports, and uh, it's a who's who. Uh, so it's really, really neat to you know, get in that club, and then, yeah, they uh, they treat you really well. It's, it's, it's pretty awesome. And I know you're a big Supercross, Motocross fan. I remember seeing you came to Glendale. You've been in the TV booth before, so I know you follow the sport really closely. Yeah, it's awesome. I, you know, I grew up riding dirt bikes. I got my first dirt bike. I was... Man, I think I was four years old, and uh, so my dad and I just, we grew up riding uh, all the time. We did a lot of trail riding. Uh, I did a few arena crosses back in the day. Uh, that didn't go well, uh, but I had a lot of fun doing them. And, um, you know, so I, I just have always enjoyed, you know, riding dirt bikes. And, um, you know, I would, I would race on Friday and Saturdays, and then, you know, Sunday afternoons we would go, you know, ride dirt bikes uh, in the woods with uh, with a big group of buddies uh, just about every weekend. And so that's what I grew up doing. Yeah, and I've always wondered this. You know, we race generally on, on Saturday night in Supercross or Saturday afternoon for motocross. NASCAR has some Saturday races, but more often on Sunday. So are you you folks watching in the motorhome lot, Supercross, and then bench racing about it on the race weekends? Yeah, uh, early on in the season, it's normally a little chilly. And then a lot of us don't bring our motorhomes out west. Uh, but... You know, Daytona, normally everybody's, you know, outside uh, the motorhomes, all watching Supercross, you know, end up at somebody's motorhome watching it outside. Um, or if we're out and about, I'll definitely uh, just pull it up on my phone nonstop. So, uh, you know, whether whether we're at dinner or, you know, at an event, I've, I've got it tuned in. So, yeah, since you're such a big fan, just talk about, how great the racing we have seen this year it's been so close in the points yeah it's kind of wild um you know obviously in the the east coast uh 250 um i mean obviously the the lawrence brothers seem like they have the championships kind of in, in their hand uh but i yep. feel like second on back is kind of wild uh, in both of them and yep. it seems like whoever can stay healthy on on the on that side of things um i'm super impressed with um with hayden obviously i mean heck he's close to second in points there and, uh, ahead of his teammates which is really impressive you no know? yeah. you know and then on the the 450 side man if I, I feel like you know obviously it's a tight battle um you got three of the best just going at it seems like chase has plenty of speed especially in qualifying just gotta continue to put it all together but i feel like if e any of those three just put in some consistent rides as far as you know wins it's like they can pull away really fast but they all keep kind of making little mistakes here and there uh, which is really exciting for the fans when it comes down to the points points chase all right, well, thanks for joining us. Good luck at the rest of the races during the year. But more importantly, from our perspective, just thanks for being a fan and, and, and watching on Peacock wherever you go. That's really cool. Yeah, I definitely watch on the go. And, man, I'm, I'm pumped for the rest of the year. We'll be tuned in. Thanks for having me on. Okay, it is finally time for your SMX insiders, Daniel and Jason, to leave Daytona and head to our next race in Monster Energy AMA Supercross and the Super Motocross World Championship. We're going to Indy. So from one popular racing venue 
to another city synonymous with great racing. Yeah, and it starts with Race Day Live at 1.30 Eastern. And Race Day Live this year is a little bit different. It's out in the concourse in that unique spot that it's in every year. The fans love it. They're all around screaming, so it's got that game day feel. And uh, yeah, so come say hi. 1.30 Eastern, RDL kicks off. Yep, and then 7 o'clock Eastern will be the beginning of the night show with the heat race and then going into the main events. Hi, folks. Lee Diffie from NBC Sports here. If you truly enjoyed what you just watched, you can get more news, interviews, and highlights by subscribing to the Motorsports on NBC YouTube page. You can get it all, so go for it.